Hi guys, it's Lindsay and today I have another week of food that I have been cooking and eating and loving to share with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. Get some inspiration and also motivation to like cook at home and try some new recipes. I totally get in ruts of making the same thing and so that's why I kind of wait about a month in between making these videos just to like fall in love with some new recipes and lately I've been trying to cook with more vegetables that I don't typically buy so you might notice some new things that I don't usually cook with in here um, but I hope you enjoy it and without further ado let's get right on into it. Starting out on Monday, I made a decaf chai latte with this chaga chai concentrate. It's a really great alternative for days when you don't want to drink caffeine. For breakfast, I toasted a gluten-free sesame bagel from Pops Bagels in LA. They have some of the best gluten-free bagels. And then I just topped that with avocado and a fried egg. And I had some mandarin oranges because they're in season right now and just could not be sweeter. For lunch, I had minestrone soup. I will share the recipe later on in this video when I make it again because it's that good. For dinner, I made one of my all-time favorite curries. It is a creamy lentil coconut curry and I just paired that with some jasmine rice. I'll link the recipe below since I have made it before. You don't really need me to talk through it, but it makes about six servings, so I usually freeze half and then eat the rest during the week. Tuesday, I had yogurt and granola for breakfast. The Forager Vanilla Cashew Milk Yogurt is by far the best plant-based yogurt I've ever tried, and I'm incredibly picky when it comes to yogurt. It's either the taste or the texture, something's just always wrong, and I love this one. I keep buying it, and all of my friends recommended it to me, so thanks guys. I really wanted to start eating yogurt because it's so good for you, and I finally found one that I love and I topped it with cashew butter granola, bananas, and blueberries, and this has been my favorite combo lately. And I also made a decaf chai latte in a to-go mug because I was going somewhere, can't remember where. For lunch, I made a bagel sandwich with a fried egg, but this time I used an everything bagel, and I also thinly sliced my red onion for this. I'm very particular about the thinly sliced onion, along with some avocado, and there's just me showing off how beautiful and non-stick my new pans are. I got them from Caraway. I was kindly gifted them, and guys, I don't think you understand. I am obsessed with these pans. I am doing everything I can possibly do to keep them in this perfect condition. So only using low heat, but just had to flex. I'll definitely let you know how the wear and tear is like longer term, but right now I couldn't love them more and I'm just so grateful because they just, I really need new pans. And then to complete the sandwich, I'm just adding some microgreens. You could also use arugula or just whatever greens you have on hand, but this is such a classic, super delicious. I also had a ginger kombucha and of course my leftover curry for dinner since I made so much. Wednesday for breakfast, I am still on my bagel kick, but this time I did it open-faced with avocado, thinly sliced red onion, tomato, salt, pepper, and microgreens. But this would also be delicious with some cashew cream cheese as the base or some capers. For lunch, I made a quick Caesar salad with vegan Caesar salad dressing, romaine, and these really tasty crunchy chickpeas. And for dinner, I had more curry, but with some steamed spinach for just some more greens. And then after dinner, I made some filled medjool dates to eat throughout the week. This is one of my favorite sweet treats. I just fill them with either almond butter or cashew butter and top them with salt and chocolate chips. I could eat these every day and I pretty much do. They're like the perfect after dinner snack. Thursday morning started out with another decaf oat milk chai since I'm getting through the concentrate and then I was craving an omelet so I made one with three eggs, spinach, and some tomato and topped it with avocado and cilantro. Then I had a peach kombucha, I love better booch. And then for lunch, I made a veggie sandwich on toasted gluten-free bread. This Ithaca lemon hummus is my new favorite find. It is so fresh, it seriously tastes homemade. And then I just layered all of my veggies on top. 
I used to love ordering veggie sandwiches at this French cafe and it would be on a baguette and just so, so crunchy and delicious. So this is my attempt at that. Just try this with a baguette. I, trust me, it's better. Then here's me eating olives in my robe, waiting for the oven to preheat so I could make a frozen pizza. I really appreciate Daya having these gluten-free and vegan pizzas. They are really good. Um, I like the supreme kind. It has sausage, onions, and peppers, but I also like to have it with some salad or some greens. Friday morning, I made the same granola bowl that I showed earlier in this video. It seriously is my favorite combo, as you can tell, because I finished the bag of granola. And I had another oat milk chai latte. Then around lunch, I decided to make minestrone soup so I could share the recipe with you guys and do it while there was still good lighting instead of at night. All you need is one chopped onion, two cloves of garlic, some fresh rosemary if possible. I always like using fresh herbs in soups. I feel like it makes such a difference. Then I added carrots and celery and let those cook for about four minutes and then added the rest of the vegetables, which is one large zucchini, about a cup of white beans, and a whole bag of cherry tomatoes. So like probably about a cup, along with a carton of vegetable broth, and then just turned that up to a boil and added in the gluten-free pasta, and then just cooked it until everything was done. This soup is so comforting. It just reminds me of home and it also freezes really well too. And then for dinner, I went to a Galentine's and we had tacos and chips and guac and vegan queso and cupcakes. And it was so much fun, but I didn't get a ton of footage of it, but I ate very good that night. Watching me drink all these kombuchas made me want a kombucha. So now I'm drinking a kombucha. This one's pear. That was everything that I ate in a week, and now to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, whatever you need, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and run your business. I have been using Squarespace to host my website for years now, and I just love how easy they make the design process. You can update it whenever you want, and they have thousands of customizable templates that you can choose from and design to fit your needs. You can even get custom domains directly through Squarespace. So I was able to get lindsayrem.com, and that just makes it so much easier branding-wise if you're starting a business or anything like that. Squarespace also has really amazing blogging and commenting features if you're interested in starting a blog. They have a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes, which helps you foster a community within your website. And I love that you can draft, categorize, and schedule blog posts to go live, which is just super important as a creator on the back end. As well as having access to powerful analytics tools so you can gain insights to your site visitors, like what they're doing when they visit your site and how they interact with your content. You can learn more about page views, traffic sources, audience geography, and more, which is all really helpful when it comes to producing content. If you've been thinking about creating a website, I highly recommend using Squarespace to make it. And if you're interested, you can also get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just head to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem. And thank you all so much for watching. I will see you with some new content very soon. Bye guys.